Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with and It's D about to react to this vid by JBM Fargo. It's titled, Why So Luminati and Zeus Hated Each Other? A Nostalgic Beef. Damn, why did they hate each other again? <laughs> I do remember there was something about Zeus trying to copyright strike so Luminati, but I don't know why he was trying to copyright strike him. I don't remember all the details, but I remember there was lots of drama, lots of tea involved. <laughs> so, so yeah, let's let's get an overview of what occurred. Let's watch. Ryan's this is very nostalgic. Luminati has had numerous conflicts. From his biggest rival, DDG, to Cash Nasty and LSK, there's been nothing short of entertainment really? in his company situation. Cash but one back and forth that no one really remember. talks about is his feud with Zeus. Why did they not like each other in the first place? Prior to these two even crossing I think paths, they both have strong personalities. on stream in early 2017, as Zeus and his co-star, B. Lou, were coming up in a music reaction scene. I f*** with uh, Zeus and uh, my mans, though. Them niggas funny as I just started oh. really watching. They don't get straight. Oh, like for sure when they be reacting to videos and shit, I could actually re relate to them. They look like some cool, like, like some chill in real life type shit. Initially, this beef had little to do with Soul Lunati, mainly one of Soul's closest friends, KT the Shooter versus Zeus. This whole thing started with Soul not oh, showing shit. up to the infamous 1v1 McCash Nasty in August of 2017, which I completely broke down in another video a while ago. There's so many layers to that situation, so I suggest you go watch that video. A few months later, Zeus' cousin is on 3TV, uploaded a diss track aimed at So, titled Queen Holo Nadi over Tupac's legendary hit him up beat. He took many shots at So in this song, with the biggest being him mentioning a very sus video that surfaced of So pranking his cousin. Just keep that video in the back of your minds because it plays a huge what role video in the play? years later. Bro, you say that so much somebody dissed me, my nigga. Bro, I'm so Illuminati. Wait, this ain't no summary. This is some some uh, information I didn't know. <laughs> this, is, this is some uh, tea that was, that was never revealed to me. I only saw like the main videos they posted, but I didn't know any of this. I'm one of the most hated YouTubers. Y'all just don't see it. Everybody hate me. Everybody diss me. I might not know. You know what I'm saying? But that's tough. Listen, if you were and you dissing me, you might as well, you might as well hop in the smash your pass with the bitch. You know what I'm saying? You begging for my attention like this. If any nigga diss me, that's tough. Because nine times out of ten, I'm not going to know these niggas, bro. All I know is my niggas. Simple. But when I begin, as long as I don't say, bitch, I ain't got to beat the <laughs> <laughs> that same week, Zone 3 TV reacted to a clip of KT and so on stream, explaining the cast situation. He was kind of late to the whole thing, but around the time of it happening, Solomonati was losing subs at a fast rate and was hated by almost half of the WNL community because he talked hella shit, only to back out. And as a Soul mm -hmm. fan, I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was cool. But he gained all those subs back and more after posting an apology vid, then dropping a separate He's one right after. The stream that I explained oh, earlier was one of KT's first appearances on stream, and he was talking crazy. And Zeus's cousin basically said that they were pussy. So you think if Cash Nasty said all this shit about me, I know y'all are fans, I know y'all just want to see us hoop, but if me and my would have went to Cash Nasty in Louisiana, I would go to play him in basketball. But I don't want to Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to keep it real. When I would have went, I'd have beat his ass. Because I don't... Listen, you have a lot to live up to. I understand you're a YouTuber, so you gotta be bigger than that. I'm not a YouTuber, bro. I'm straight from the streets, bro. I don't. I, all right, bro. relax, relax. No, 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 bro. All that, bro. I understand all that, but listen, I'm gonna talk to y'all, bro. They can be doing janky shit, bro. If I went, you the bust his ass, and then I'd have beat his ass. He'd have got two L's like Cool J. Simple as that, bro. I'd have whooped his ass because the shit he do, bro, behind doors, I don't understand that. That shit's whack, bro. That shit's whack, bro. I don't right, beat his ass. Bro. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I'm not trying to fight no YouTuber. I am. Tell him I said it. I am. I am. I'm straight from the streets, right? No, 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 bro. I don't understand all that, bro. I don't understand all that, bro. Listen. Both y'all niggas lame. Both y'all, I see. You the bust his ass, and then I'm the booze at. He done got two down like cool at. Simple as that, bro. I'm the booze at him because... Shut your ass up. Following this, no one but really responded until months later in early 2018 when KT made his YouTube channel and uploaded a video reigniting the situation that basically everyone Not forgot. Thick about. Eyebrows. You, I can tell you won't talk because you riding so hard. How many videos do you got? Oh, suck a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just to get your fame. Like, oh. this was a real thing. Like, shit was going on. Like, niggas was going back and forth with my bro. So I'm like, no, you got my nigga fucked up. I don't even think you know, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know Cash Nasty. You just literally just want to hop on that wave, right? And that's the sad thing about you. The fight gonna take no longer than woo de woo, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna smack you off the jump, pull up. Is either you gonna pull up or you not. If you're not gonna pull up, shut the fuck up. What y'all say, nigga? Who gonna smoke something, nigga? Yeah. I'm about whatever, nigga. Fuck it, 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 nigga. Fuck
you have to run down. Pull up. And Zia's would get involved after hearing about this. Now, throughout this whole stretch of time, Zia's didn't step in because it really wasn't his battle to fight. But Zia's DMs KT on Instagram and immediately sets up for a fade that same day. Nothing materializes from this as they can't figure out where to meet up. A lot of pump faking, basically. They continue to throw shots on IG, with KT saying that Zia's was weak at football, and Zia's roasting KT for averaging one point per game in college like basketball, <laughs> basically saying that he's not a real shooter. I can go lie, that was a bar. So eventually, Zia's drops a video on KT, roasting him and doxing his phone number for all his fans to do whatever they want. KT responded to this in a video of his own. Fast forward to a little later, Zia's hits up So after KT blocked him, still looking to find a neutral location for the fade, and So says he'll do what he can. So hopped on stream shortly after, talking about his side of the situation, and reacts to a video of Zia's pressing someone at a convention. So how do I feel about the situation? I mean, my shooter want to fight Zia's. It's simple or plain. I mean, the nigga want to fight the nigga. I don't... I to be honest, I've never seen Zia's fight before, so it's like, I, I can't really speak on him. If i seen Zia's fight, all we know is the nigga play football, so he, like, stocky and shit. I mean, i never seen him fight, so I can't really sit here and say who will win and who will do this. But I can tell you what my shooter would do. And I, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Y'all niggas already know how my shooter is. If, if Zia's really want to fight my shooter because he want to fight this nigga, bad. Zia, you actually have somebody who want to fight you. I won't be sitting here saying this shit for no reason, bro. I'm not trying to entertain this. I think the videos and shit is pointless. All this shit is old beef. But I have heard y'all talking about boxing. I heard Zia say something about he want to fight Keemstar. My shooter fight this nigga. I put my I put anything on my shooter when it comes to hands. All we know from is Zia's, bro. Zia's, I fuck with Zia's and Bilo. I fuck with their videos heavy. This is no hate. This really... It has so everything to do with me because this is my shooter, but it don't have nothing to do with me. Now, this shit say Zia's and B-Lil get into a fight, but I don't see no fight. Maybe they got a friend about this. Because he, they probably feel like... All I see like, is DDG sneak recording type shit. They probably feel like he was trying to imply that they, they ain't got him. This is so stupid, though, doing all this on the internet. <laughs> Everybody's guilty. DDG was such an instigator. And was recording everything back then. Fight, man. Why I got so low? Wait, 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 trying not to involve himself too much Two in the situation, grown men at still home. sided with KT, prompting Zia's to mention him on Twitter, saying that he would expose him. And of course, so responded. No, disre no disrespect to Zia's and b Lou and the rest of them niggas that Wait, were. why he told him to shut the Respond. fuck up? KT, prompting Zia's to mention him on Twitter. Dominique Banks, please be sure to put the little Sasha Dean's honor roll shooter at Anaheim. Please, I'm begging saying that he would expose him. And of course, he must have said something. No, disres said something no disrespect to Zia's and b Lou and the rest of them niggas that way. But why do y'all, y'all niggas never in y'all life seen this nigga fight ever, like in history. Why do y'all think he could beat my shooter? And don't say because he big, because size don't matter. So why oh, do y'all think he is. could beat my shooter in a one-on-one -on -one fight? Can y'all tell me that real quick? I seen my shooter fight. I seen my shooter do some shit that I've never seen before in my life. I know what's gonna happen, but at the same time, why is everybody so like y'all niggas have never seen this nigga fight a day in your fucking life? At least if y'all see the nigga know some shit, y'all can say something. Y'all ain't never seen a nigga fight before. <laughs> Alright, send me a video, bro. I was looking for it. I was looking for I I, I, I love the drama. I live for it. Y'all know me? Hey. This might not be the perfect time because I got this bottle, but <laughs> Anyway, my money on the shooter. Upset. Knock this nigga out. Fuck him. Get this nigga out of the way. Bro, when he knock this nigga out, your career is done, my nigga. Done! I, hey, I stayed out of it, didn't I? I stayed out of it, didn't I?
Bro, y'all know I ain't with Twitter fingers, bro. I hate niggas who, who, who be on Twitter 24-7. I went through the same shit with Flight React to them. I'm not with the Twitter shit. I barely be on there. I come on there tweet and I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it is. If you get knocked the fuck out, nigga, you the one with the million, the two million subscribers on your reaction channel. You get knocked the fuck out, my nigga. Your fans are gone. Some of them made multiple exposed yeah, videos. Yeah, these are the videos. That's so <laughs> now we're posting tweets aimed at so and allegedly copyright strike one of his videos yeah, on the second channel. The nigga Zia's goes on Twitter and like trying to expose me on some deep, deep, deep like personal shit. Like posting a girl who claiming that I'm her baby daddy and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, my nigga, you've been plotting on this for a minute. Like, my nigga, how long have you been holding on to this picture? Like, why would you want to expose me like that? Like, what did I do to you? You know what I'm saying? And then that's when I came up with the conspiracy and I broke it all down and it all made sense. Then after I posted that video on Solomonati Roast, this motherfucker goes and strikes the video, bro. And what makes it funny, he made, look, this nigga made a big mistake. Now, this is, it's funny to me. The dumbass nigga strikes the vid, but put Javante Vance, right? Trolling me. So he put Javante Vance, right? So when I go, I click on the video, I try to see who it got strike from. It's gonna say Javante Vance. Now when you when you strike somebody, nigga, you can put Takashi 69, you can put Ninja, you can put Thotty, you can put Sebastian, you can put your mama name, your daddy. It don't matter what name you put. What I'm matters is your channel. what email is associated associated with, with that account. account. Yeah. You can't change that. And email. you can't just copyright strike people out the clear blue sky. This is I have beef with somebody over this. Because <laughs> they tried to copyright strike a, a video I reacted to of theirs, of their video. You can't just do that. You have to have it has to be legit, okay? So when they tried to copyright strike me, I appealed that shit. And when you are sending out false like copyright strikes and they're not legit, your channel can be deleted for that. Like YouTube don't play with that because that's a legal matter. And if you're sending out copyright strikes that aren't legit, when you don't have any grounds to do so, your, your channel could definitely face termination. So I gave that chick a warning, like play with me again. <laughs> your channel's done. Don't play with me because you can't just copyright strike people because you feel like it. Anyway. Me and Solo and Ali are cool, right? But KT is homeboy. So if me and KT is fighting, of course he's going to side with KT. If he wants to come out and say, oh, yeah, I'm cool with Z or whatever, shout out to Z. But, you know, KT my homeboy. You feel me? Like, so I'm going to always be on his side no matter what. I ain't got no problem with Z. This fight ain't got nothing to do with me. May the best man win. Did that would be genuine. But he got on camera and said, I got my money on shooter. Of course I'm going to side with my shooter. He's my shooter. This is my brother. Duh. That's like B. Lou coming out like, nigga, I got five bands on, on Z's with the upset, with the knockout. I would be like, bitch, I ain't going to get mad at him. That's, that's B. Lou, nigga, that's your bro. He's supposed to do that. Z is denies these accusations in a video of his own and accuses So of being a deadbeat father on some push a T shit, but it backfired. Because for all we knew at the time, So didn't have any kids. Like, for example, the name of my MCN is Create Music Group. If I were to have your video striped, you will see Create Music Group, and the email will be blah, blah, blah at createmusicgroup.com. But it was niggas still saying, bro, it's your email address. Why else would your email address be there if it wasn't you? That email address is not linked to any of my YouTube accounts. When you sign up to YouTube, right, you have to make a Gmail account. And that email that you signed up with YouTube with, you cannot change. It's per All this yapping, yapping, okay? You can, the copyright strike will only go through if you have an association to the content that that person is using in their video. It, if that's the case, anybody could copyright strike anybody just to troll them. That's not how that works. Like, there has to be some a, a similarity in the content for you to copyright strike them and basically claim that, oh, they're adding my content into their video. And when YouTube matches up the, that similarity, then they'll issue out the copyright strike. So him trying to be like, that wasn't me. Who else was it? Only you can do that. <laughs> or maybe he didn't know that his team did. I don't, I don't know. But that, that isn't, this is not how YouTube works. I've been on YouTube for a very long time. And let's use common sense. Like, no. Again, if this was the case, anybody could copyright strike anybody. It wouldn't be an effective system. So there has to be uh, similarities in the content. So that's why he was able to successfully copyright strike Solomonati. Permanent. You can't so unlink it or cap. nothing. Look at the emails that's linked to the channels. Bishop Louis at gmail.com. The Lua family. You could change the email when you're issuing the strike. Because they ask you, like, what's the best email to use? 
So that's not, again, this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> three at gmail.com. The you Tulsa that EDU email is a university email. It's and a school keep... email that I just happen to keep in use for my business inquiries. It's not linked to any of these YouTube accounts. Look, as you can see, chimba.zeke at gmail.com. And you can put whatever email address that you want. So you can put exactly. anybody's email address. And that's when I realized, bro, hold on. I'm getting free, my nigga. Solobonati23 at gmail.com. I can put that email right here, and that's the email that's gonna pop up on the strike. Yes, but you can't issue the strike unless they're. I say, Bands, you said that any troll on here can get on here and strike any video, but what you left out, and I'm mm -hmm. sure it was on purpose, is that they can put whatever email they want as well. Understand, bro? So, Luminati is a very talented. If that was the case, YouTube would be a mess. Everybody would be getting strikes left and right because people would just do it to troll. <laughs> that's not how it works. The person, nothing he does is by mistake. When he says stuff, he knows why he's saying it. He knows exactly what he's doing when he says it. So he'll twist the whole narrative and manipulate y'all into believing him. But he never shows y'all proof of anything. It's just word of mouth, my nigga. Because I ain't seen no email about this shit. Like, mind you, it's a university email, so the shit could have went to my spam. Like, bro, I don't check my fucking spam folder. So when some Illuminati talking about some, you see the email, you see it, though, you can retract it. How, nigga? <laughs> talking about something the end of Zia. Javante Dominique Baines, look me in my motherfucking eyes, nigga. You can never end me. It's Javante Dominique Baines. Look me in my motherfucking eyes, nigga. You can never end me. <laughs> now, you can easily get on camera, play victim, and manipulate the kids. But, nigga, it's not going to work. Every real nigga knows what's going on. My fans and everybody with common sense is still going to ride with me, my nigga. And after your fans see this bid and see the proof, now what you going to say? And this whole I got mad at you for siding with KT shit is bullshit. Quit putting that out there in these little kids' minds, my nigga. My thing is, bro, you keep saying you staying out of it, but yet you keep antagonizing the situation, throwing slick shots every time you get on camera and talk about it. But you don't give a sense in this fight. Ah, 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 ah. You get aggressive with this shit like it's really bothering you. And you might get knocked out. Hey, when Zia's lose this fight, hey, his career is done. And that's why I got annoyed and told you to shut the fuck up. Overall, Zia's felt that Solo Naughty has something against him all along. It sounds like Sel so said that after he saw the tweet. And I mean, no, as no. he should. It's his man. So who won't want their friend to win in a fight? Everything in the situation will come to a halt after KT's mom sadly passed away. Putting things into perspective of how meaningless this internet beef really is. However, the boxing match between KT and Zone 3 TV would happen a year later in 2019, and So reacted to it. The beef between Zia and So would eventually subside until February of 2022, when So returned from one of his many hiatuses to upload a video exposing streamer Aiden Ross, who Zia is pretty cool with. So criticized all the sus things that Aiden would do on stream in front of his young, impressionable audience. Basically, So said that Aiden played a part in emasculating his male viewers and this new generation of streamers. In this same video, he mentions Zia is playing a big part in keeping this type of activity going. After a lengthy back and forth for Aiden Ross that included Aiden bringing up the sus video of So and his cousin involving a marker, all signs pointed to Zia. Now, So dropped the video right after this title I just pulled up on Zia, where he quote unquote looked for Zia in the game seafood. In the comments, So states that Zia has something to do with exposing that old video of him that a lot of people suspected of. Did I react to this? responded to this video in a tweet telling everyone to enjoy the entertainment. He went on to drop a video later that night with B. Lou, calling So a walking contradiction and a fake spiritual preacher. Let's make something very clear. Home Let's get this out the way. I don't have a problem with So. I don't have a beef with So. That man is harmless. <laughs> Y'all gotta learn to separate YouTube and real life. That nigga is no threat in any way, shape, or form in real life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is all entertainment. I guess when Solo Night made the video, Ada called me, and I'm pretty sure he called other people. Mm -hmm. um, he asked me basically, what's my take and how, how should he react? Like, what should he say talking shit back? And I was like, let me watch the video. I'm going to call you back. I watched the video, bro. <clears throat> the funny thing is, I agree with him. A lot of, like, he made a lot of valid points. Yeah. It was a lot of inconsistencies. A lot of times he contradicted himself. And a lot of times he was reaching. But I understood the overall point of what he was trying to say. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, guess, uh, I guess Aiden had put up the, that old video. So, when he was doing that gay ass shit. He talking about what he put a nuts on his head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that black going, bro. Bro, and it's just funny trying to see niggas and him trying to justify that shit like, bro, that shit was gay as fuck, nigga. <laughs> I was 12, nigga. No one did I ever think to do no gay ass shit like that. Nah. Did you do gay ass shit like that when you was 12? No. Did you do gay ass shit like that when you was 12? Fuck no. Huh? Bro, he was young. A lot of you niggas watching this young, so you telling me that's the shit you be doing? You did it at 21, you did it at 12. It's still gay. Don't matter. And that's why niggas reacted to the video the way they reacted to it, because it showed you as a hypocrite. Nah, we seen what you said about the reactions and shit, bro. First of all, Yeah, he's wildin', he wildin', he wildin', bro. We don't get paid for any of these reactions, bro. I want y'all to know. You know how much money we turned down from labels? They be reaching out trying to get us to react to artists that they sign? For real. Bro, I'm not even gonna say the amount, but just know it's a lot, bro. Clearly watch our videos. If you a fan of the channel, you know that we are not a music critiquing channel, nigga. We get lit. We get lit. <laughs> it's all about good vibes. It's positive vibes, nigga. Yeah. We what react you to preaching though. Exactly. We're we, positive vibes. We, we, we reacting to the music video, nigga. Half the time we don't even be talking about the song, nigga. Out. That nigga feeling that shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you rapping like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. 
Did they react to Soul's music video? I'm looking at the comments real quick. I know he had like a song, yeah. No mixing, no auto tune, just straight ass. <laughs> <laughs> just straight ass. Oh. <laughs> Nigga said he sent us back to the hood with this one. <laughs> All the shit you doing, bro, is spewing negativity, low vibration. Ain't that everything you stand against, bro? So wasted no time responding to Zia's with a video of the very next day titled Zia's Funeral R.I.P. So had a lot to get off his chest, sparking a beef in 2018 again, and basically following up on a comment that he said before. Okay, now, I just want to know this. <laughs> After this video, you're not going to never look at Zia's the same. No matter how much this man think he don't care, if he didn't care, he would have never responded. It's levels to this shit. I think he did a response video on some random channel trying to make it seem like, oh, I'm not gonna put so naughty on my man since he wanna act like I ain't that important. I'm gonna act like he not that important either. Niggas a lot. See, this is the highlight of your entire 2021. This is what you're known for all 2021. This is the highlight right here. That picture alone take away anything you say in life. As a man, I told you, you are a demise to black men. You are the death of black men. Like, playing around, you the death of black men. You a role model. You sat here and got emasculated just to get you know in a position to keep growing your brand. Out of all the such pranks he already have done to you, you telling me and everybody that's watching this right now, you didn't know and y'all didn't plan this such prank? You mean to tell me you had no clue? That's he can about to sit on your dick. You knew he was about to do something. <laughs> he was about to sit on your dick. <laughs> at all, right? Now, I want y'all to pay close attention. I told y'all. That's my only issue with with Z is it's like the things he says. It's like people who do YouTube, like we we know we know the truth. So it's like he may, and it's so ironic because he accused Soul of doing this, but he may be able to fool his his fans who don't know any better. But those of us who do YouTube, like we know the details of the copyright strike and shit. We know about how fake pranks are and like. Well, I mean, a lot of y'all do too at this point, especially when you get older. <laughs> you realize all these pink, these, these pranks are fake. But yeah, it's like, so for him to be like, I didn't know if he was about to do that. Okay. First reaction. How they react to some first name. I just closed a multi-family rental property. My sixth property. That's what I'm celebrating right now. That don't define us as a person, do it? Notice when I start talking straight out his soul, he start talking about his accomplishments. This is how they put themselves above you. This is how these material ass, soulless, spiritually dead rappers, influencers, who, who, who whole career is built off their success and built off like being above you in some way. You used to be known for reactions, but now niggas know your reactions. They, this is the highlight of your career since 2021. I'm talking about your soul. You start talking about achievements, accomplishments, all this. This, I ain't got none of that. Goddamn, you going crazy. But my niggas watching this still fuck with me for me. Notice I'm talking about his soul and they talking about my music. Uh, dude, I'm not a rapper. But I can rock, though. No, I can toy around. We in the Matrix. Mm. I already exposed That's the shit with the music. No, start talking about music. I still got over a million streams on Spotify and iTunes with no labels. Now, now you talking about numbers and Because I'm not an industry shit. puppet. Only industry niggas get on this. And I still made the charts. Nowadays, both creators are doing their own thing. This era of YouTube brought us many memorable moments that you just had to be there to witness. But today's history hmm. is being carved out as we speak. Very interesting, though. Very, very nostalgic. I definitely recall some of this, but there were a lot of details mentioned that I did not know. Uh, but, I mean, I think it all was really goofy. Just grown men yelling and spitting at each other <laughs> or spitting at their phones, like, to talk shit about each other was just so childish and, and sad. I'm like, all y'all look dumb. To be honest, but yeah, this is definitely a time in YouTube. You have to be there. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.